Hi, this is Joy from thedeliciousrevolution.com and I'm here to give you an update on my challenge, um, my financial challenge around eating, which has been trying to feed my family of four a very healthy diet on $150 a week. And I must admit complete defeat. I spent $208.06, um, but I learned some challenges. I think I have two big challenges, uh, maybe three if you count the fact that we just recently moved home, so we're restocking some more expensive things into our covers that we might already have on hand as stock items, but we're just gonna tackle two um, because anybody might have to restock at any given time. So the two challenges are this. The first um, is communication and the second uh, is just being really social and wanting to entertain a lot or um, otherwise be social and I'll go into that in a minute. So my first challenge which is communication should be really really easy. Um, the first go round, I was sort of, you know, antagonizing over, you know, what I would serve for my menu plan and what would work and what wouldn't work and how I would restock the cupboards. So while I was fidgeting around trying to figure out my menu plan, uh, the supplies in the kitchen got low and Travis picked up groceries, which is awesome. Um, but it made it impossible to make the menus, the things on the menu plan that I had made. So I think uh, choosing Sunday night, so when we all have family dinner together on Sunday night or Saturday night, we'll play around and see what works but I think Sunday would be a great idea um, talk to Travis and talk to Evie and see what they're feeling like this week and see what they want for their treats and this and that and um, and that way it takes the pressure off of me I don't have to pick up all the all the menu plan for the week and figure out what sounds good everybody gets to throw in ideas and um, they'll think of recipes I haven't done in a while or haven't made recently so um, so that'll be great so that's my uh, my solution for the communication issue is to sort of make it a fun time with Travis and Evie to figure out what we want all week we'll do that on Sunday this week and then I'll shop on Monday so that way the supplies won't be low and um, the second challenge is just our family being really social we have a lot of friends and and family we call our, our friends because we don't have a lot of family that live close to us so we call it our family our extended friends that act as our support network in our family here in San Diego and we just love them and um, we're not about to give up our time with them and a big part of our social time together with our friends is cooking and eating we all love preparing food and making food and sharing food and there's nothing I love more than uh, making people uh, happy by feeding them great food so uh, we definitely aren't going to change that um, if anything we might alter the budget to accommodate that but I really think that we can do this so um, things like we had a, a, a couple of ours who are really dear to our hearts go through an extreme tragedy and although there's nothing that we can do to help them uh, sort of move through their pain and, and get through um, this tragedy in their own way we certainly can cook for them and uh, deliver food for them so that's exactly what we did I can't help but I can cook so uh, I made a bunch of food and my husband drove it over there and just stocked their fridge and and left and that way um, you know whatever they need in terms of emotional support obviously will offer that but in the meantime they don't have to cook while they're going through everything else that that is so heavy on their shoulders right now so that's one way that I, I feel better and that Travis feels better is knowing that we can contribute to their life some way so the social element of food is something that we love and it's very important to us so we'll keep you posted on whether or not we alter our budget but I really think that that we can do this so uh, even throwing in uh, stocking someone else's fridge for a bit and um, entertaining last Sunday with a lot of friends we were only $58.06 over budget which I know that's you know like 25% of the budget I was supposed to have so <laughs> a little more than that my math is a little blonde blonde math so that's probably not ex exactly accurate but anyways not that over considering but this week's menu plan looks really great so log on to the blog at the delicious revolution.com and take a look at it I've got everything on there from like um, you know a raw version of pad thai although the peanut sauce is cooked um, and we have uh, zucchini Kini pasta marinara which is awesome and it only takes five minutes we've got Chinese Asian wraps we've got everything on there the menu plan this week is awesome and it better be because I'm not allotting for um, our one week our one night a week out eating out together I just want to try and make up the difference uh, by the end of uh, four weeks that I went over 5806 last time so I'm gonna try to slowly make that up and I'm under budget and I've done all the shopping for the menu 
you that's on the blog. So hopefully um, we'll be able to get that done. And by the end of the month, maybe we'll even make up the difference. So take a look at it. If you have any tips for feeding a family of four, or if you have tips for the single people out there who are trying to do this alone, which can be even more difficult. Um, and I actually do have one tip for the single people and that's to have a cooking day, like on Saturday morning or Sunday afternoon, get a few friends over pitching on groceries together and make stuff you can divide and send home to you know three or four households. It's definitely more cost effective that way. Um, but if you have any tips for any of us who are trying to eat healthy on a budget, please post them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you and I would love your support and help. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon. Again, this is Joy from the deliciousrevolution.com.